Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This here is the HTC Vive Cosmos, a VR headset that I would like if it wasn't for the bad tracking. Now HTC obviously has also found out about this problem and they're trying to tackle this with introducing three new VR headsets that are based off the Cosmos. And one of these headsets comes with Lighthouse Tracking, the HTC Cosmos Elite. Also, they're introducing a more entry-level headset, the Cosmos Play, which still uses the inside-out tracking. And they're also introducing a more business headset with the Cosmos XR, which has two additional cameras for pass-through. All the details about the three new Cosmos headset you're going to find in this video. And all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of all the VR headsets and the latest news just like this one. So if you want to stay up to date about VR, then subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right then, let's have a look at the three new Vive Cosmos headsets. All right, we first heard about this from Engadget. So let's have a look at the Engadget article. HTC expanded Vive Cosmos family may help lure more VR users. So the first headset that they're going to introduce now is the Cosmos Play. And as you can tell, it is exactly the same headset that was first teased by Vive. So we don't have these six cameras anymore. We only have the four original cameras. And we also don't have the headset that we know now from the Cosmos that was sold until now. So for the Cosmos Play, you're going to have to use your own headset, your own headphones, and you will only get four cameras. But honestly, I believe this is not going to change the tracking to be worse. As we can tell, the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. They only have two cameras and actually they have a better tracking than the Cosmos has. So I, I don't think this is going to make the tracking any worse. So we don't learn about the pricing here of this more entry-level headset, but I believe that the pricing is going to be lower than the Cosmos right now. And it would make sense because Vive, they have to compete with the Rift S. And in this article, we also learn that HTC insists that this is still great for the likes of Viveport Video and Angry Birds VR, talking about the tracking. So this is the Cosmos Play and they don't say anything here about pricing. But other than that, everything is still the same. It's still based off the Cosmos that we know. So we have the same 2880 times 1700 LCD with 110 degree field of view and a 90 hertz refresh rate. So everything the same. And actually the display, it does look good and it has very nice colors. So the display, the displays are nice. Okay, so now talking about the next VR headset. This is this here that you see here now. This is the Cosmos Elite. And as you can tell, it comes with the Vive Wands and with a faceplate that is ready for lighthouse tracking. So with this Elite, you get, you get lighthouse tracking, which is going to be as good as the tracking that we see in the Valve Index, the Vive and the Vive Pro, because they're using exactly the same tracking. So this will actually solve the tracking problems that the original Vive Cosmos is plagued with. Now, this device here is going to set you back. Wait, they write it here. It's going to cost 29,900 new Taiwan dollars, which is around 990 US dollars. So, this is going to compete against the Valve Index Complete Kit, which also costs around $1,000. And uh, well, it also offers base stations and controllers, but for the Valve Index, you know, you get, you're going to get the Valve Index controllers here with the Vive Elite, which is probably more targeted at us, the VR enthusiast. You're going to get the Vive Wands that you know from the Vive and the Vive Pro, 
and you're going to get the base stations as well. And in this case, you're going to get the base stations of the 1.0 kind. So not the 2.0 kind that you get with the Valve Index full kit, but the 1.0 kind. But I can tell you that's no problem at all for normal rooms um, indoors, like, like you probably live in <laughs> and me too. I, in the MRTV headquarter, I'm also using the 1.0 base stations and that's absolutely no problem at all. Just if you read, need really big places, big playing spaces, then the base stations 2.0 will be better, but for normal use, the base stations of the 1.0 kind are completely fine. Yeah, so that is the Vive Cosmos Elite. And if you own the old, Cosmos, the Cosmos that I showed you here with the inside out tracking, well, you can also get the plate. They will simply change your old Cosmos into a Cosmos Elite. So this plate will cost you $6,600, which is about $219. So for around $219, you will be able to change your Vive Cosmos into a lighthouse tracked um, Cosmos, which will allow you to have great tracking and use the Vive Wands if you want to, or the Valve Index controllers, or any kind of controllers which will be coming up for the lighthouse system. All right, then let's now look at the third Cosmos headset. This here is the Cosmos XR. And as you can tell, it uses inside out tracking with the four cameras here. And it has two more cameras here. And these cameras are meant for pass through so that you can do mixed reality. So these cameras, they will be um, yeah, more high quality cameras and then you can do mixed reality applications. Probably it's not meant for gamers, it's more meant yeah, for, for business applications and such where you want to have real nice mixed reality applications. All right, that's quite interesting news we have there. And if you're interested in the Cosmos Elite, so the Cosmos with that lighthouse tracking and the controllers and the base stations, you can pre-order this starting 24th of February, so really, really soon. And if you already own the Cosmos and you're looking for upgrading it to the Elite with that faceplate, that will be available in the second quarter of 2020. About the Cosmos XR, we're going to hear more news at the GDC, which is going to take place in San Francisco in end of March. So lots of interesting news that HTC has to offer here for us. In my opinion, HTC is doing the right thing here with finding the right target audience. So probably the tracking that we have here right now is going to be perfectly okay for people who are not into competitive first-person shooters and who simply want to use it more casually. And I hope that they can bring down the price as much as possible for the Cosmos Play. Then for people like probably us, who are more into death with, the, with, with games and uh, who are enthusiasts, the Elite might be interesting because first of all, we have Lighthouse Tracking, which is the best tracking on the market right now. And if you want, you can use your existing um, Valve Index controllers to use the Cosmos. And uh, well, one great thing that HTC has going for themselves is this here the wireless kit. So even if you love the index, and I personally love the index, this is something that Valve doesn't have, the wireless kit. But the Cosmos has it, and with the Cosmos Elite, you're going to have the only wireless solution in order to play Steam VR games on a recent headset wirelessly. So this is something that HTC has going for themselves. Also, if you're more into, into business applications and if you want to do mixed reality, the original Cosmos couldn't do it because the, the cameras are simply not good enough. So with the XR, they are also solving this problem and introducing like high quality cameras for pass through VR for mixed reality applications. So I think this is the best that they can do with this, with what they have right now. 
All right, but now I want to hear from you. What is your opinion about these new headsets? What do you think about the Cosmos Play and what do you think would be a good price for the Cosmos Play? What do you think about the $1,000 Cosmos Elite package, which comes with Lados tracking, the wands and the base stations? Is that something that you would choose over the Valve Index complete set because of the wireless kit? <laughs> Please do let me know in the comment section below and also tell me about what you think about the Cosmos XR. If you're probably more into business applications, would that be something interesting for you? Please do let me know in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to hear what you have to say. And that's it for this video. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, then why don't you do that now? And also, don't forget to click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.